to my channel. Nick. <laughs> Today we're gonna be cooking Guinness bread because St. Patrick's Day is on Thursday and we wanted to get into the spirit by baking some delicious Guinness bread. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and take you through step by step how to make this bread if you wanna make it at home. First thing you do is preheat your oven to 425 Fahrenheit. How do you do that? <laughs> Start. Next thing you're going to do is grease a loaf pan. This is the type that I'm using. And you could just grease your pan with regular butter, but I'm just going to spray it with pan because it's a little bit easier. Grease it up. <laughs> it Next, we're going to do one cup of whole milk. Because there's no diets around this house. <laughs> Now we're gonna do one teaspoon of Old English fish and chip vinegar. Cause nothing tastes like vinegar like old fish and chip <laughs> And now we're gonna set this aside just for a few minutes. <laughs> ten, 10 minutes. Just for 10 minutes. Now in a separate bowl, you're going to take two cups of whole wheat flour and three fourths cup of rolled oats. In my home economics class, they told us to do this. <laughs> they told you to shovel it all over the kitchen counter? Yep. My mom told me something once that has stuck with me forever. She, my mom is a clean freak and she told me that um, we were cooking together and I was making a mess with cooking and I thought she was gonna be mad because she's a neat freak. And she was like, Erin, cooking is messy, it's okay. So, as you can see, we're gonna be making a mess here today. I'm using the Bob's Red Mill extra thick rolled oats and they're whole grain. We're gonna add a half a cup of my favorite brown sugar. <laughs> Which brown sugar are you using, Nick? That's a good question, Erin. Dark brown sugar. <laughs> and now we're gonna add two teaspoons, or TSPs as the recipe calls for, of baking soda. Sprinkle it on there. You don't actually have to sprinkle it on unless you want to. Nick likes to do that when he cooks. He does this every time we cook a recipe. He likes to sprinkle it all around. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder. Make sure this is baking powder and not baking soda. And Aaron okay. screwed up the okay. recipe. That was a half, so I'm gonna add one more of these. Are you sure? Yep, this says one half teaspoon. So I put a total of one teaspoon in, but I used the wrong utensil. Now we're gonna add one half teaspoon of salt. The salt that I use is nature's finest sea salt. And this is my salt keeper right here that I keep my salt in. So I'm gonna get one half teaspoon of that. Maybe that's why it, that one time that you cooked that cake, it didn't settle right. Because you were using the half teaspoon wrong. Now you're going to combine all of these ingredients together. Next, we're going to add one fourth cup of Kerrygold pure Irish butter. And it's gonna be melted, added into the milk mixture, which now has a giant hair in it. Okay, hair. Nick. <laughs> Get that out Look of here, that. Nick. That's <laughs> disgusting. Okay. <laughs> Go put a fish net on your head. <laughs> so how this butter works, on the back, it's gonna have little tablespoons. So, 
16 tablespoons are in one cup, and if we need one fourth a cup, then we're gonna need four tablespoons. Now we're gonna take our butter, four table, ow, that's hot, four tablespoons of butter that we melted a little bit. We're gonna add it to our milk and vinegar mixture that's been sitting for 10 minutes. That's delicious. Two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract made by organics. Couple extra drops there two, for good luck. Two, right? Two. Wait, make sure. Vanilla, yeah. 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 Now we're gonna add 12 ounces of Guinness beer to our mixture. And don't worry, I know I'm pregnant, but when you cook with alcohol, it cooks the alcohol out of whatever you're cooking. So I have been told that this Guinness, why does it say? Six ounces. Does one pint, six fluid ounces mean it's one pint plus six fluid ounces? Because I know this is more than six ounces. This can't be six That's... ounces. So I'm going to measure out 12 ounces of this Guinness beer in my Royal Canin cat food measure, but it's ran through the dishwasher. How are, we're gonna have to wait for that to go down. Yep. So what you need to do here, and we can teach you a drinking lesson here too. You're gonna wanna wipe your finger on your nose. I'm not doing that, that's so sick. Just wipe it right in the crack of where what your nose and your face butter hits. From butter. No, no, butter. Your face is gonna be a it lot worked. more it oily. Worked. It's working. The butter is, my face isn't oilier than butter. <laughs> A pregnant woman's face is the oiliest thing, oiliest thing out there. Sick. No, you just licked your finger. <laughs> That's sick. See? Erin just wiped her face with her finger <laughs> and it just it. cuts right That's through that. butter. I used butter, guys. Okay, so this is eight ounces. Okay, so this is eight ounces right here. So we've proven that this is more than six ounces. So I think that this is one pint, six ounces. Why don't they just say how many ounces in general? Okay, now all this is gonna be 12 ounces. Now we're gonna whisk the beer and butter and milk and vinegar concoction here. Whisk it up real nice. All right, now we're gonna take this dry mixture over here and just add it in as you're whisking away. Now, you're gonna sprinkle oats over the thing, just like this. You actually throw it a little bit, like you're seeding a field. <laughs> Is that enough oats? However many you want. Looks good to me. So about a handful. That's a good amount. For 30 minutes, you're gonna bake this at 425. Now we're going to reduce the temperature to 400 and bake for an additional 20 minutes.
All right, now this needs to cool for 30 minutes before you can take it out of the pan. Now that our loaf is cooled for 30 minutes, it's time to slice in and see if it tastes good. What do you think, Nick? No bread for you. Mmm. Kind of tastes like banana bread. It definitely needs some butter. Oh, yeah. I might add a little bit more brown sugar <laughs> to make it sweeter because it's, I think it tastes great. It tastes good. It tastes exactly like what you would think. I mean, you could definitely taste the Guinness and it tastes like a loaf. Like it tastes like a banana nut bread with Guinness instead of banana. That's the best way I could describe it. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who voted on this video. Every other Monday, I'm going to be having a poll on my Twitter where you can vote for the content of my video. So next Monday, I'm gonna pick a video that I wanna do, and then the Monday after that, you guys can vote again for what you wanna see. So be thinking of things that you're interested in seeing, leave them in the comments, what do you guys wanna see next, and I'll go ahead and put it in the poll. But um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed Nick's commentary on this video, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys on Wednesday for my pregnancy update. Bye. Thank you.